those who don't know me, I'm Taylor Ambernay, your coach for all things self-love and entertainment. I know I've been MIA. I've been honestly exploring other creative avenues that I wanted Passion Tea to go to. For this episode, I decided to do another haul video where I can share with you guys some of the things I've been shopping around for this summer. You know, in case y'all were wondering or needed some creative ideas. First runner up, we have this pastel yellow set from Honeybun. Kind of feel these. Has a tendency to feel like a towel, but not that bad, but it kind of has that material on the outside. I actually wore this on vacay with my family um, on Father's Day weekend not that long ago. Reminded me of someone cute uncle needed a cigar or some shit. Doesn't come with a top though, like another top to go with it um, if you want it open, but I did set it up with like a white like a white crop top, real cute. Second, we have active wear set. Yes, the red though. And this is from Black Owned Comedic Knowledge. They're always mad giving out promo codes on their Instagram site for their fits, so I definitely recommend them. The top is tight enough to stay on, but without, like you can wear, you don't have to wear a sports bra with it unless you plan on running, I feel like. But if you're walking, hiking, this is just enough. And it looks so cute, y'all. I felt, I was feeling myself. I feel myself all the time in this outfit when I work out. And that's specifically why I got it because I feel like when I work out, I want to feel good working out. Like despite the sweat and stuff, I still want to look like cute or feel myself in my active wear. So definitely invest in some comedic knowledge, y'all. We have these cute cartoon shorts. I got these from Ross for like, what, six, $10? I think they were like $10, nothing, uh, nothing more than $10 if they were less. But the new Space Jam movie's coming out and I decided I wanted a little something to commemorate that. I don't know. Ever since I saw this ad for PSD underwear on Instagram, my inner child has been screaming out for some, um, for some Looney Tunes. These definitely come in handy when I need some little quick shorts to put on, whether that's inside or outside. Plus, I like shorts that I can twerk in. Up next, we have this set from Bamboo Underwear. I don't know if you guys follow me on Instagram, but I had the shorts and I advertised them a bit. But oh my gosh, this set just comes with a bralette and some like little booty shorts. And y'all, these are this is like the best fabric. I appreciate that they're trying to um, be eco-friendly, but what really got me is the fact that they use bamboo viscose as a as fabric and y'all you see like this fabric is so soft so stretchy and like so comfortable like that's really what i love about it is the comfortability but y'all when i say booty shorts i mean booty shorts like do not wear these outside i can barely wear these in my backyard so comfortable i love just throwing it on when i need something they're not super expensive but they are like more on the pricey side because of the eco sustainability I also invested in a book, y'all. I usually be invested in books, but I don't really be feeling the need to share them all the time. But it's been a minute since I actually invested in a book and I was being called to this one. And this is by Rakim called Sweat the Tag Me. It's supposed to, it tells, so far it's telling his story on um, how he grew up and how he got into rap and everything. And even like gives you like tips and stuff on how you can perfect your writing. I think that's what it is. I don't wanna be like super, um, super sure, but so far, that's what I've gotten. I did look at the audiobook of this before they took it off of Apple Music for some reason, but this is what made me invest in the book. So obviously Spirit wanted me to actually keep the book or keep the words. That's what I want to believe. But my rap fans, if you don't know Rakim, you don't know rap. Okay, y'all, uh, I also, like, this is not much of a share more than it is a hype. I bought my first vinyls. Um, in a consecutive amount of time, like maybe two weeks a month from, away from each other, but I had to share because I, I absolutely love them. If y'all haven't listened to either of these albums yet, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing with your life? And y'all know I had to invest in a little bit of Savage. Okay, honestly, no, it wasn't, it was investing in Savage, but it was more so because I kept accidentally getting charged the fee after the fifth. So I decided to say what the fuck and spend the credits anyway. So uh, you know I had to invest in a little... I love looking at myself in something cute. I also invested in these pajamas. Like I don't know if y'all have seen the new Savage pajama sets, but this was like, uh, what was it? Their newest set from like a month ago? 
I think it was a month ago. It was a month or so ago. But they have um, music. They had they had some lounge sets uh, of a crop top and some booty shorts. So cute. The only thing though is that I would definitely recommend buying them um, like a size or so smaller. I would say a size smaller because these are smalls and I still can't fit them. I literally had to take this whole outfit back and invest in a smaller size because I said fuck it and bought the bigger sizes because my boobs are kind of big. But I need, I still need something smaller than this. And I just decided to say fuck it and keep it like this. But learn from my mistake. Finally invested in one of their OG bralettes too. Last but not least, some more lounge. I didn't actually realize from the beginning when I was putting together this haul that I invested in a lot of loungewear, but I invested in a lot of loungewear. And that's mostly because a girl ain't got no shorts to sleep in. This is Savage Fenty's new lounge shorts. It actually comes with a set, but I can only, I only, <laughs> I only had enough money to invest in the shorts. So here they are, and they are fucking cute. I even tried them on. Fucking comfortable. And I could twerk in them. That's the three, that's, that's the three steps right there. <laughs> so it officially, and I could twerk in them. They officially passed my test. So y'all, they see, it seems like, it seems like a little fabric like a little it's kind of like flimsy but a little but the fabric still feels really nice they're cute they're comfortable and i could twerk in them so they immediately pass my test last but not least is my angel aura quartz necklace from gilded grotto probably the most pricey but there was a sale so you know it was worth it it's absolutely gorgeous the jewelry store is black woman owned and she does luxury crystal designs please be sure to look out for the links below all right thank you all for enjoying my little collection i hope y'all enjoyed it and i hope you invest in any of these products or companies especially savage a little savage does a body good no matter if you invest in these businesses or get these same things or not i just hope that you treat yourself i don't mean putting yourself into debt but i sure as hell hope that everybody treats themselves a little bit this summer out of everything be sure to be like and subscribe for another episode of passion tea coming out very soon